I said, what I'm doing. Extraordinary times we live in. We are seeing changes in the world around us on a weekly basis that is unprecedented. Maybe some of you are missing those changes, but I am not, and I know many others are not. We are taking quantum leaps forward, even though some days it looks like it may look like we're taking many steps back. We are moving forward, guys. Um, there are some interesting things lying ahead, uh, you know, within the Earth's uh, atmosphere, the sun, this universe, that may indicate there are even some bigger changes on the way. And I'm talking about like Earth events, could be a potential solar flash. Um, yeah, chatter around this subject has increased and I'm feeling also an increased anticipation of a potential event like this. And um, I just want to say it could very well happen in the next couple of months, uh, sorry, weeks, <laughs> not months. Now, we've been waiting for a big solar flash for many years. Some said there wasn't going to be one anymore. I've always felt like there was a lot of mini ones coming through, but there will still be that final one, two or three pushes. You know, it's like giving birth to a new earth. There's got to be uh, some final push, so to speak. Uh, also, if we look around us, there's still a lot of division and craziness going on in the world. And it's kind of, Earth kind of needs a little bit of a shaking in that sense. So a, a solar, a big solar flash of sorts would not be such a bad idea. Now, there are some very interesting alignments coming up um, in the next month to six weeks. On the 30th of October, we're seeing some interesting alignments. Uh, we will be at our solar maximum, which means... Um, Solar activity will be at its maximum this year in solar cycle 25, uh, which is very interesting. And at the same time, Atlas 3i or I3, 3i, <laughs> whatever it's called, is going to be closest to the sun. Very interesting as well, because could this, whatever this is, um, whether it's a ship, it's a organic structure of sorts, be instrumental at uh, maybe pushing some flares off the sun or causing some frequency enhancements or activities that would have otherwise not happened? Or could it be some sort of uh, benevolent control mechanism to help the frequency reach a certain crescendo without, uh, you know, without blowing everything apart, so to speak, <laughs> to put it politely? Um, at the same time, a lot of people reckon that Earth's magnetic field will be at its weakest on that day as well. Now, there are some uh, scientists that don't agree with that necessarily. Not that we you know, really kind of um, consider them too too widely at this point in time because the, the scientific methods are just not proven to be uh, keeping up with the times. Um, but yeah, so there are some very, very significant things happening. There's a lot of channeled information that talks more and more about um, a solar flash coming up. And of course, humanity and, and, and the timelines that are converging are now, you know, indicating that we're close to some sort of event, some sort of splitting apart, some sort of rapture of sorts, something that is going to happen. It's going to kind of just be a deciding factor of how things move forward from there and who will go on the higher organic timeline and who will go on the lower inorganic timeline. So these are all very interesting concepts to consider. Um, we obviously, in a few days, are going to be having the, the part solar eclipse, which is also very significant. We'll be closing that eclipse window. And this has definitely been an action-packed uh, solar eclipse uh, season these two weeks, the gateway that we experienced between the lunar eclipse and the solar eclipse. And then just the day after, we will have our equinox, our spring equinox for those of us in the southern hemisphere. And, um, you know, in the northern hemisphere, it will be fall. So um, this is also significant. It is in Libra, so it is kind of a rebalancing, you know, event, uh, astrologically and, and energetically speaking. Um, so... Yeah, I'm I'm feeling strongly there may be something on the way. Let me know what you guys think. Do you want to hear more about it? Should we dive a little bit deeper into the subject? 
um, in the meantime, what are you doing to prepare for all of this? Are you, you know, going within? Are you working on yourself? Are you growing yourself spiritually? Uh, or what are you doing? Just sitting on the sidelines, looking at videos and, you know, getting lost in the rabbit holes. So <laughs> that would be my question for you. I hope it's not the latter because that is not going to add to your growth at this point. It may look, you look smart in the moment to your peers or colleagues or whatever, but it's not going to help you grow. It's not going to help you when such a big event occurs. It's certainly not going to help you, you know, with the ascension of this planet and, and you personally which is happening. So, you know, people can think, ah, oh, it's a fairy tale. It is destined for our planet. It is busy happening. Every single day we're moving closer to that. So it is a reality. We are shifting dimensions. You can either be part of that shift or you can be left behind. Nobody's choosing you. You are choosing yourself. So if you're a chosen one, then you've chosen yourself. Well done. But you've got to do the work that's going along with that choice that you're making. So do the daily work, keep your ego at bay, see how you can grow, integrate your shadows, be kind to others, become the neutral observer, um, you know, look deep within yourself, um, create a stronger relationship with your higher self, your guides, your guidance team, and ultimately your, your over soul. Um, those are all things that we have to be working on if we, we're going to be shifting dimensions. It, yes, we're going to get a push, but it's not going to happen just by that push. You have to do the work. So I hope this um, is your daily reminder to do the work <laughs> and not to get triggered, not to get lost in the moment, but to be in the moment, to be present in the moment, to be that neutral observer looking at you and your life. You are the dreamer and the dream. So what perspective do you want to take? You decide. I'm sending you all much love. I'll be back with a longer uh, video very soon. In the meantime, check out all my links below. Make sure you're subscribed and let's do this together, guys. We're in for the ride of our life.